a very good evening to all. Thank you so much for investing your time with us on a Tuesday evening and joining our panel discussion on the topic, The Secret of Successful Crypto Traders. My name is Rekha Khan. I'm going to be moderating the panel discussion today. On joining, you would notice that you all are in mute. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, please write them on the chat section. I'm sure today I can expect maximum questions from all of you all. From the creator of Odin, MCX, and IEX, here is yet another credible and exchange-neutral platform a user can rely on while walking towards the path of crypto and blockchain understanding. Starting from education to knowledge to all the latest news, all covered under one super app, Crypto Wire. Let me first take you through the world's first crypto university, Crypto TV, and Crypto Wire services. We all know that crypto and blockchain ecosystem is emerging at an immense speed. And to keep a track of all the events, prices, and news look to be difficult. So what if we have an app like our buddy who works with us, thinks like us in response to what we expect? Yes, you heard it right. Our own global crypto super app, Crypto Buyer. Let me now take you through the app briefly. Let's start with the homepage of the app, which covers all the three verticals, Crypto University, Crypto TV, and Crypto Wire Services. Under the Crypto Wire Services, we have rolled out India's first global index of Crypto IC15. It tracks the performance of the top 15 cryptocurrencies globally based on market capitalization. Crypto enthusiasts and crypto traders can take informed decisions based on IC15. Coming to Wirewatch, in this section, we can monitor the best exchange to buy and the best exchange to sell a particular cryptocurrency. In center of the screen, you can monitor the arbitrage opportunity available between the two exchanges for the same cryptocurrency. There are more than 400 plus cryptocurrencies listed on our platform, along with 70 plus crypto exchanges worldwide. Coming to Crypto TV, it's an exclusive 24 by 7 mobile IP TV covering everything on crypto and blockchain ecosystem. It is currently available in four different languages, English, Hindi, Gujarati, and Marathi. Coming to Crypto University, being the world's first digital university to offer courses on crypto and blockchain, we can find the best courses available on our platform. There are a lot of new additions in our uh, Crypto University platform. Would suggest all of you all to kindly download the same and go through the same. Thank you so much. Today, we're going to have an amazing panel discussion on the secrets of successful crypto traders. Our speakers will be sharing the secrets and tips of becoming a successful trader. And all of this from a trader and a technical analyst perspective so that crypto enthusiasts and crypto traders can make best use of these tips to build a prospective career. Let's have a healthy discussion to increase our knowledge. CryptoWire's goal today is that every individual attending this webinar should go back with the knowledge that is going to help them see things in a fresh perspective. And you can apply this knowledge and information gathered today to make informed decisions in this space. So here is a format which we would be uh, going with, uh, going ahead with. We'll take a few moments to briefly introduce the panel members and let tell you a little bit more about their background, their achievements in the industry. I will kick off the conversation. After that, we'll be kicking it off with a Q&A session where we will be raising a couple of questions to the panelists and they will be giving you uh, their viewpoints on the same. And then last but not the least, we shall be taking up audience questions. Thank you so much. Hope this sounds great. So now let me start with the panel discussion, uh, panel introductions. I have with me uh, Ms. Ayushi Verma. Uh, she is having over a decade of experience in the financial service industry. Ayushi has been a very active member of the ATA India, a technical analyst association. She is also an panel trainer for conducting investors awareness session for FLAB India, an arm of AAFM, holding a management degree in finance she is interqualified CWA and has cleared NISM Investor Advisor, a SEBI registered module. She has also co-authored a book, Mutual Fund, Ladder to Wealth Creation on Mutual Funds. She is the founder of Invest to Learn Academy, where you can learn how to effectively invest money in financial market. Her expertise is in the area of technical and fundamental analysis. Welcome to the session, ma'am. 
Hi, Ruksar. Welcome uh, uh, to you as well. Uh, I think you won't be able to see me because uh, can you just uh, make me the co-host on the another IT so that I can open up my camera? Yes, ma'am. Just a moment. I made you the co-host. And we have Rohan also who's joined in. Hi, Rohan. So a quick introduction about Rohan. Second up with me, I have Mr. Rohan Gulati, who started his career in 2013 in the field of digital marketing. He entered into the field of crypto in 2016. And since then, he's been handling more than 50 projects related to ICO, STO, NFT, and Metaverse. He has been actively trading in crypto since 2018, using leverage and future trading, arbitrage and spot trading. Welcome to the panel, sir. Thank you, Ruksar. I hope you are feeling well. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I hope you are doing good too, sir. Likewise. Thank you. So I have uh, uh, made both of you all the co-host. I hope uh, there is no issues now, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Cool. Thank you. So with this, I would like to welcome you both once again. The panel is going to be discussing specifically nine questions that we have for today's session. And I'm sure most of you will be awaiting for the same answers like our viewers. So to start with, I'm going to start off with my first question for our panelists. I'm going to be requesting both the speakers to share the views on this one. So the question is, where and how can we start trading in cryptocurrency? I would like the ladies to go first. So Ayushi. I would uh, suggest that you go in first on this. All right. Thank you, Ruksar, uh, for, uh, for the first question. Uh, so, guys, basically, you know, if you want to start uh, and, you know, if you want to start how you can start, where to start, I'll be just, you know, uh, summarizing my answer in four major points. OK, so I'll take up the second question first, you know, how you can start up and I'll take up the first question in between uh, the second question only. So the first point is, you know, you should understand the crypto market. So this is a new age market because, you know, uh, sorry, there is a request. Sorry to cut you. There is a request coming in from the attendees that if we can have a mix and match Hindi and English ka mix and match raksakre, to better hoga, ma'am. Great, great. I'll, I'll try to use both languages. Okay, guys, no problem. So, we use both languages. So, the first point hai pe, uh, I just wanted to make you understand that, you know, you should understand the crypto market. Crypto market ko pehle samjhiye. Ye bohati new age market hai. Isme digital asset uh, ka aapko samajna rahega. So, as far as, you know, other asset classes are concerned, abhi tak humare paas equities tha, uh, we have commodity, currencies. Ye sabhi bohat different cryptocurrency se. so sabse pehle, you need to understand you know what are the regulations available in this market aap kis tarah se isme, uh, digital assets ko kis tarah se aap trade ya invest kar sakte hain the second point comes after uh, the first point is do proper research so first of all you just need to understand the different types of cryptos kitne tarah ke cryptos hai coins kya hota hai uh, bahut sare tarah ke cryptos hai aap pehle unko samjhiye fir aap samjhiye that you know how they work kis tarah se unki functioning hai किस तरह से उनका काम होता है व्हाट इज द प्राइस वोलेटिलिटी क्या क्या उनका प्राइस का मोमेंटम है किस तरह से वो कहां किस पर्पस के लिए यूज किए जाते हैं उनका यूज केस क्या है also, uh, just try to find out, you know, who are the people behind these cryptocurrencies. So, you know, this is very important in nowadays because uh, if you want to understand that there is a fundamentally strong crypto, then you should understand what is the background of it. So second is do proper research. The third point that you can look at is, you know, just to find out the best broker and exchange. Again, you know, uh, we have a lot of... Uh, uh, absence of regulations in India. So crypto ka abhi tak bohat zyada regulations strong nahi hai, bohat zyada ek framework strong nahi hai. Uh, so in such a situation, you know, you should definitely uh, find out the best broker. Ab broker ko aap kaise select kar sakte? You look for the financial background, ki uska financial background kaise hai, uski credentials kaise hai, uske, uska clientage kaise hai, uski presence kaise hai, uske, uh, like, you know, we have seen in the recent uh, few times ki hume exchanges ke saath mein, withdrawals ke saath kitna issues huye. So just to try, just you know try to find out that these are issues to nahi hai us broker ke saath mein kitna commission wo charge kar raha hai kitne uska trading platform kitna user friendly hai so just try to find out all these things and the last point is that is you know as far as I concern 
I think this is the most important thing that before you enter into the cryptocurrency, just try to understand, try to learn how to trade, right? Because this cryptocurrency is a very volatile asset. So, अब जब तक आप समझेंगे नहीं उसके क्रिप्टो के फंडामेंटल्स क्या है क्रिप्टो के चार्ज को कैसे रीड कर रहा है किस तरह से यू you नो know, आप एक एंट्री और एग्जिट ले सकते हैं ये सारी चीजें आपके लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जब आप ये सब चीजें सीख लेंगे यू नो देन यू वुड बी एबल टू actually uh, start your trading so this is you know my four points you know just to uh, you know i would like to tell to the beginners thank you so much ma'am that was very informative i think we've lost out on rohan i think there is some connectivity issue that rohan is facing nevertheless we can go ahead with the second question uh, so again ma'am the second question that i would like to uh, know and understand is what are the factors affecting cryptocurrency prices according to you all right so that's a very good question because i uh, prefer technical analysis you know over the fundamental analysis so aisa nahi hai ki main fundamental bilkul uh, avoid karti hu aisa nahi hai but इफ यू आस्क माई प्रेफरेंस तो मुझे चार्ट्स को रीड करना ज्यादा पसंद आता है और जब हम चार्ट्स की बात करते हैं तो वहां प्राइस जो होता है वो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट होता है नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट कुड बी द फैक्टर्स यू नो विच कुड अफेक्ट अ पर्टिकुलर क्रिप्टो करेंसी प्राइस नाउ you know if you ask me the biggest single most factor is the demand and supply of the crypto and you know it fluctuates on various parameters so you know if i talk about on a broader perspective uh, we can you know look at the economic outlook we can look at the investor sentiments we look at the taxation structure in an economy and uh, the crypto regulations of course and on a narrower sense you know we should look at the technology behind the coin uh, like you know you uh, you have seen the bitcoin and ethereum to so, ethereum ka use case thoda sa zyada hai to uske piche ki technology uh, kya hai kis tarah se uska uh, use hone wala hai kya specific pointers hain ek particular coin ko judge karne ke liye uska market cap kya hai uski ranking kya hai uski circulating supply kya hai so these are the different factors you know which creates the demand and supply for a particular cryptocurrency and you know if you ask me these are the factors which could affect the price of a coin sure thank you so much uh going on i would want to this is a very technical question uh so to make a profitable trade should a trader look only on technical indicators or price movements okay this is uh, my favorite question because you know uh most of my students ask this question you know ma'am which indicator should i use whether we should use indicator Or not. So, if you ask me, you know, I give importance to both. However, my priority is always on the price momentum. Okay, I like to read the price movement. I like to read the read the price behavior. So, you know, if you understand, if you want to be a good trader, a successful trader, you first need to understand what is the price behavior. And you know, if you are able to understand it easily, then uh, you know you would be able to use the price action strategies. in your trading so my 90% trading happens with the price action or with the price momentum strategies and uh, remaining 10% you know i use the technical indicators so this is how i basically trade and uh, see these indicators i'll tell you why i am using this 90 10 uh, you know ratio every indicator you use uh, you know rsi stochastic or any indicator every indicator is basically the secondary to the price momentum so every indicator jo bhi aap indicator use kar rahe hain wo kahin na kahin price ke momentum ke baad hi drive hua hai right so agar aap price ko jo first priority hai agar aap usko समझना उसको उसके चार्ट को या उसके प्राइस को रीड करना अच्छे से समझ लेते हैं देन योर 90 परसेंट यू नो ट्रेडिंग इज सॉर्टेड तो आप के लिए जो प्रेफरेंस होना चाहिए वो प्राइस का मूवमेंट होना चाहिए और उसको सिर्फ एक एड ऑन करने के लिए यू कैन यूज द इंडिकेटर्स राइट सो यू नो इफ यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट प्रॉपरली आई थिंक यू वुड बी एबल टू गुड टू गो ऑल्सो इफ यू आस मी what could be the combination of indicators so i would prefer uh, you know that should be a combination of leading and lagging indicators ab aapke liye ho sakta hai ye kuch thoda sa 
टेक्निकल हो जाए कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो जाए सो वंस यू स्टार्ट यू नो लर्निंग अबाउट इट आई थिंक वो आप समझ पाएंगे कि लीडिंग और लैगिंग इंडिकेटर्स क्या होते हैं बट आई थिंक अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ विल डेफिनेटली वर्क आउट इन द मार्केट एंड डू नॉट यूज मोर देन टू टू थ्री इंडिकेटर्स आई थिंक इट्स इट्स यू नो इफ यू आर अ ट्रेडर दो या तीन से ज्यादा इंडिकेटर को यूज करना आई थिंक uh, बहुत ही यू नो इतना इंडिकेटर्स यूज करेंगे आई थिंक योर वर्क इज डन सो आपका ट्रेडिंग काफी अच्छे से सिंप्लीफाइड मैनर में आप ट्रेडिंग कर पाएंगे थैंक यू सो मच रोहन आई थिंक वी लॉस्ट यू इन बिटवीन अवेवर थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग बैक सो दिस क्वेश्चन रोहन वी आयुषी हैज ऑलरेडी गिवन अ व्यू पॉइंट वॉट फैक्टर्स एक्चुअली इफेक्ट अ क्रिप्टो करेंसी प्राइस from your perspective uh well there are so many factors which affect the cryptocurrency price like recently if you have seen the dump in the chingari token right so nobody knows what happened actually so a lot of indian investors and the traders have invested a very huge amount in chingari token and that token was trading at somewhere around 0.8 dollar before that dump and just one candle of 5 minutes took the price to 0.03 dollar that means 97% dump in the carry token and this token is backed by one of the famous celebrity of bollywood who is sabat khan right but still the reason is not known yet why that dump took place but if you will just try to find out because blockchain is all about transparency where you can see how much token team in team is holding what is their holding right now when did they hold to which address did they transfer right so if you will just go deep into that section you will be able to find that what actually happened in that in that project so if i talk about overall so the price movement depends on the community as well because if the community believes in your project then they will you know start buying it so this is a game of buying and sell where the demand if the demand keeps on increasing and the supply is limited just like the bitcoin where right now when this industry started so bitcoin was less than 1 dollar right there was not so many investors who were buying bitcoin at that time but if you talk about in 2022 2021 lot of investors came in lot of big institutions came in the supply of bitcoin is fixed which is 21 billion but the demand got increased and that is why bitcoin got to its all time high which is 70k usd right and that is why everyone is saying that if you can hold just one bitcoin then in next 10 years you can become a billionaire because the price of bitcoin is going to increase because the demand is going to increase and supply will remain fixed but if you talk about some other altcoins where the supply is not fixed then that case that is a trouble a steam can contribute as many coins as they want and they can introduce more coins with the introduction of more things like this is the reason why i was not in a favor of luna project the luna blockchain because their concept was totally different though they were telling that the concept is backed by us steam where what they will do is they will simply try to maintain the price of usd by increasing and decreasing the supply of luna right so if you know how luna works you can understand that why that was a good trade because they were not prepared for this bear market where the price will go down then the luna the supply of luna will keep on increasing and hence investors lose faith in the luna coin and that is the reason why usd got bankrupt so just think about the project from their perspective like what the team wants why they want it what is their long term vision do not go for a short term vision because if they are saying that okay we will develop the project in just one year and after that we do not have anything to say right now if they do not have a vision for 10 years then that project is not going to survive because they can't develop the trust in their community and community is the main factor so the more vision you will have the for the for the better growth right after that you will be your coin will succeed in the market i am so sorry for the technical glitch today i am not sure what is happening right now but uh, i just changed my system so hi ashi pleasure to meet you hi rohan hi same here i hope you you can hear me yeah, yeah we can hear you. absolutely okay. thank you so much rohan uh the third question for you rohan actually is what are the most popular mistakes that you feel happen in the crypto trading and what is it that people have to watch out to happen in the crypto trade 
the first thing is if you are a trader then you need to control your emotion if you can't control it then you can't trade this is the like only advice which i can give you in the bear market because see when the price is going up then everybody will say that oh just invest in this xyz coin and you will become millionaire in the next one day or the next 24 hours right but actual trading starts when you start realizing how these charts come into play into the trading part you can read out what is the resistance level what is the support level why price got rejected from a particular position again and again for example like we are talking about a lot that btc is holding a great support at 18k and 20k the moment we will break 18k that is the point where we can go towards the more below level which is 15k 12k and even 10k but nobody is saying that we can go to 3k because there are a lot of factors which is driving that for the price above 20k and right now btc has already tested 20k level multiple times mind my words multiple times and we are not able to place it so it is not at all easy for btc to go to below 10k level that is why everyone is saying that start doing dca but mind it bear market has not just started yet although we are in bear market but the real market will start when btc will go below 15k and this is possible till it is possible so uh, what i believe is that bia market will can continue for the 2022 and then for the half of 2023 as well and just be, just before the halving even we will see a sharp down and after that a huge pump as i say history repeats itself in the crypto market but yes if you are a crypto trader first thing that you need to control is you need to control your emotions and do not jump into any trade just mark your resistance point and entry point so entry and exit level points are very much important do not jump for example like if let's say uh, you think that the price for xyz coin the ex- entry price should be at 10 rupees and the exit price should be at 20 rupees and you miss the entry point which is at 10 rupees and you entered at 15 rupees so that means you are you can lose your funds why because you are entering in the middle of the trade which is a very risky one so do not enter in the middle of the trade always enter at the end entry point and exit so entry points and exit points should be very very clear this is the thing that i can say about thank you rohan ma'am would you like to add to this what are your views on this yes sure so uh, you know uh, see this is a again you know i would say that this is a very new market right and uh, you know if you learn fundamentals technicals but then also you know lot of you know a uh, scams and lot of you know other things happen so just you know just to avoid all these things and if you're a beginner first of all you know as the rohan said uh, your entry and exit point should be completely great and second your emotion you should completely avoid the emotion so you know just to add on to it i would say that first of all you should follow complete risk management tools right where to put the stock up loss where to you know use the how to use the leverage how to use the position sizing you have to be very much you know uh, uh, you you are you should be uh, you know very much assured that you know how you are using these things and if you are putting these things in in the right place in the right manner i think uh, your losses will uh, will be very less so that is you know i just wanted to add on to it thank you so much definitely coming up next is again a question which is for rohan do you think a crypto trader can also make profits based on screen reading price movement bid and ask reading well definitely yes but for that you need to be have some technical knowledge for that if you are just starting then reading charts is a science right it is an art and science as well where you just read out like what is happening in the 1 minute chart 5 minute chart 1 hour chart 4 hour chart and then daily as well but the higher time frame charts have more value than the lower time frames what do i mean by that if i'm looking at the daily time frame chart and the 4 hourly time frame chart then i will give more preference to the daily time frame chart instead of 4 hourly same goes with 1 hourly and 4 hourly if you are reading charts then go ahead with the 4 hourly and 1 hourly because that gives you a clear image and when you are not sure what the trend is for example like sometimes see three things can happen where the bdc can go up with, uh, like any point can go up in the upper upper direction downward direction or the side base so you just need to pick it out like in which direction we are 
part. And as Ayushi said, which I missed the part, but yes, you should take into account the indicators as well because indicators tell you a lot of story about the price movement. But do not use more than two or three indicators because that will confuse you as well. The two indicators which I prefer to use is one, the RSI, second MSCD, and the third one is Odoo. I combine these three indicators to predict what's the movement in the next few hours in the next few days because that gives you a lot of clear image. But sometimes these two indicators can give you the false structure as well, the false uh, scenario as well, where I have been got trapped as well. I will be very honest with you because no trader can be 100% sure what's our movement will be. But if you are getting 80% success in your trade, then that means you're a successful trader. If you try out that your all trades will be successful, that is not going to happen. You can't make 100% successful trades. But yes, if you are making more than 50% successful trades and yes, you are a successful trader. But how do you read charts? Then what's the scenario you take into play? How will you decide that what is the entry point? What is the exit point for that? What I would suggest is do not go and invest your own funds in starting. Always try with the paper trading first. In paper trading, what you do, you just get a virtual amount of money, right? And then you predict according to your chart, whatever analysis you have done, you do that and then try to take entry or exit, whatever you want, whether you want to go in the long term, whether you want to open the short position or long position, right? But if you are starting, then avoid leverage trading because leverage trading is the most difficult part. You can lose how, whatever amount you're holding in your portfolio. So avoid leverage trading is starting, start with scalping or start with sport trading. I would suggest go with the sport trading part because in sport trading, you can, you know, even if you are in losses, let's say you, you thought that the price will go off from 10 rupees, right? And you just bought that. And unfortunately, it went against your direction, against your will, right? So it went to 5 rupees, right? But the best part is in spot trading, you are actually holding up a coin. So the next time when the price will go up, you can actually sell it. I'm not sure when the price will go up, but still you have a high of that price will one day go up. But if you go in the futures trading and the price goes down and you thought and you open a long position, and in that case, you can lose out every fund that you are holding, right? So avoid futures trading, just start with the spot trading part and that too with paper trading because paper trading is when you are not putting your own fund, but you are trying out with the virtual currency, which is not there, right? So this is my advice, which I can advise you and do not follow anyone's advice on the YouTube or whatever channels you are holding because like, see, at the end of the day, you need to do your own research. Need to take care of this account. I am myself also a trader, and yesterday I made a video on my YouTube channel where I just said that in just one month I invested a very small amount, which is 100 USD, and I made a profit of 50 USD. That means I invested 100 USD and sold the coin at 150 USD. So I made a profit of 50 USD in just one month. But the point is, all you will say that you invested a lot of small amount, and how did you make out the profit? So in that case, what you need to do, you just need to decide which coin you're investing because this is the bear market. It is not possible to make profit in every other coin because all coins are dipping every other day. You talk about FTM, you talk about other coins, you will see that these coins are dipping. But if you see about Matic, like I have done, this is my fourth workshop with the uh, crypto wire right now, I think. So yeah. uh, in the last two workshops, I mentioned that Matic is a very solid project in this bear market and it will give you a lot of good returns. I showed you with my charts as well, if you guys remember. The, 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 the guys who attended the last two workshops, right? So in that case, I told you that 0.5, Matic is holding a very good support and right now Matic is more than 100% up. This is a very huge thing and that is why my bet was on Matic and that the same thing played out. So if you want to just check out, so can I present my screen? Uh, sure. That. Meanwhile, you can go ahead and uh, I'll just present with my screen. This is a different computer, so I do not have access to my channel. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, Ayush, if you want to add on something, you can always go ahead. Yeah, you please uh, continue first and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll add on uh, later on. Okay, just give me a second if I can find out the channel under this one. Because I don't know. My channel is not optimized right now, but let me find it. Yes, ma'am. Do you have anything to add to yes. this? 
yeah 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 so i think uh, two three points the rohan has covered but uh, i just want to you know uh, add on to it like you know after your virtual trading after your paper trading once you actually start your uh, trading once you actually putting your money there uh, i would say that you know start with very small capital right so do not put all of your capital in cryptocurrency or at the beginning of the trading right and as uh, uh, you know rohan said that take less leverage so that is one of the most important uh, point in the risk management strategy that you should take very less leverage so start with small capital and also you know once you are booking up a profit right if your profit is small enough that's not you know not, not a problem the point is you know you should book small small profits and do not carry the position overnight because you know it will not only increase your heartbeat it will you know give you uh, you know a lot of stress tension so just to avoid, avoid it uh, you know you can just trade uh, you know maybe on the intraday basis on a smaller uh, time frame book small profits start with a small capital these are the three four points i just wanted to add thank you so much ma'am Ruan, is your screen set to go, or do you want yes. to go ahead? Yes, cool. So I just made a video on this channel how I made one point five x profit for trading in bear market and money coins, and it's a very detailed guide where you can see. Uh, I'm also showing the uh, exact trade which I took, so you can see that what trade did I open. If I just show you that, you can see uh, it get load on the screen. Uh, so I'm talking about that at what price did I buy? So I invested 100 USDT and I bought the Matic coin at 0 0.5790 USDT. I, I received 172.71 Matic and then I sold the same amount of Matic 172.54 at a price of 0 0.9132 and I received 157.569 USDT. So that means a lump sum profit of 50. This video is in a lot of detail. So if you guys want to check it out, you can always go ahead. I'm just sharing the uh, link in the description, uh, in the chat box. So I used to cover a lot of live things under this YouTube channel. So if you want to check it out, guys, you can always go ahead and just check it out like what we But research is the most important thing. So the more better research you will do, the better returns you can make, even in the bear market. So like do your own research, that is what I can say. Sure, absolutely. That's the most important thing and a crucial thing to be done. Every time there has to be enough research on before you jump the gun. Uh, our next question is for Ayushi. I would like Ayushi to take this question. Can you share which cryptocurrency has worked on technical indicators in the past and what studies? All right. So, uh, as I said that, you know, these technical indicators, they basically indicate that direction, right? So, uh, first the price should move and then the indicator will tell you the direction, you know, where the price is going. So, if the price tells you uh, the direction, indicator will follow that direction. So, uh, you know, I have already told you that uh, better not to use technical indicators much, but a few of the most trusted indicators that I also personally use. Uh, could be RSI, which I personally use, and also the moving averages. So I only use two indicators, uh, you know, with uh, apart from the price action strategy. So these are the two indicators, uh, which is a combination of leading and lagging, and also will give you a very good result as well. Apart from these indicators, if somebody wants to uh, use, they may go for stochastic, Bollinger Bands, ADX, and, you know, some other uh, indicators. So in fact, MACD as well. So these are, you know, uh, basically every indicator has its own characteristics. So some indicator will uh, work when the market is more volatile or where a, where a particular cryptocurrency is volatile. Some will work, you know, where we need to find out the direction. So you just need to see what can be the situation. And according to that, you know, you can just pick up one or two indicators and use it. So every indicator definitely, you know, most of the time you will see that they will uh, just, you know, uh, follow the price and, you know, they will just uh, give you successful uh, indication direction. But, mo but yes, you know, they fail to, right? So sometimes they also give the false indication. So what exactly you need to do or for a beginner, what you can do, just, you know, uh, take a combination of uh, some uh, fast indicators and some slow indicators, and then you can combine and you can use it. Thank you, ma'am. 
Uh, I've got a question from the audience. Uh, uh, Avijit would like to know how to understand the basic fundamentals and screeners for trading the crypto selection. Okay. So, uh, fundamentals and technicals are two different things. If you are investing from a very long term perspective, for example, like your vision of 10 years, 20 years, right? So in that case, fundamentals will play out. But if you are investing from just a perspective of like just one day or two days, or let's say one month or two months, right? So in that case, you will be considered as a trader. So when you are trading, then you will be considering most of the part in the technical analysis. Because technical analysis gives you the short term duration of the coin, whether the coin will go up, whether the coin will go up. But when I talk about the fundamentals, so fundamental means that what is the vision of the project, what is the vision of the team, and why they have uh, invented this project, right? So, for example, like if I talk about Matic, so uh, I'm a I'm a fan of Matic, uh, Phantom as well. There are a lot of other points. So the first thing is you should not put all your uh, eggs in just one basket. So that means that I am not just a fan of Matic, but other points as well. But why I believe Matic is the most uh, trustable coin in this bear market and in the coming days as well. The reason is the team. The reason is their vision. The reason is their blockchain. So like there are multiple blockchains which are giving tough competition to Matic. For example, like Phantom is there, Solana is there. So when Solana got dumped, everyone started about talking about Matic. Why? Because Matic is working day and night to improve their blockchain and Matic is actually a killer of Ethereum blockchain. Though Matic is developed on the Ethereum blockchain, but still Matic can be a killer of Ethereum blockchain, right? So what you need to do, you just need to find out the roadmap first thing. Then the second thing, you need to read out the white paper of the project. What is their vision? What is the point of holding that coin? that local coin of that blockchain and what is the benefit you are going to get are you going to receive some airdrop are you going to receive some other perks are you going to receive some other utilities for example in the in the form of nfts right so you need to dig deep then the second step that you need to perform is to talk about in the community about the project because community gives you a lot of value and it clears your push, it, it clears your doubts as well. So the more you talk in the community, the better image you will get about the project. So fundamentals are different things and technicals are different things. Technicals is just for a very short term and fundamentals are for a long term. Sure. Thank you. Would you want to add to this anything, ma'am? Uh, okay, so uh, basically, you know, guys, as uh, Rohan said, these are two different things, right? And uh, if you want to just, you know, find out which cryptocurrency is best on the basis of the fundamental analysis. So what you can do, you can, you know, of course, look at the technology behind it where it is using, what is the use case of this uh, particular uh, technology. Apart from that, just, you know, uh, if you're a beginner, so do not take much volatility. So better to just, you know, take up uh, maybe, you know, top 15 or top 20 cryptocurrencies uh, based on the market cap, right? So just focus on these two, uh, these, uh, you know, par this parameter, like, you know, you just look for only top 20 uh, cryptocurrency based on the market cap. Look at the ranking part. Look at the circulating supply. These are some of the fundamental factors, you know, uh, by which you can just find out that which cryptocurrency price will go up or down. Sure. Uh, so in continuation to what we just replied, uh, we would, uh, there is a uh, user who wants to know any trusted sites which you refer for white papers are there any trusted sites that we can recommend uh well the there white are no, yeah well there are no trusted sites for the white paper the only trusted site is the official website of the project so right. do not go and read out the white paper from the third party websites or third party apps because they are not the official website or either what you can do, you can always follow their medium channel as well because that are the trusted source as well. But always follow the channel from their website. So if you want to go to the medium medium account, then go to their website first and from there you can go to their medium channel. But do not trust any other party apart from that. Absolutely. Very true. Next question that we have is, is it advisable to trade spot or margin trading and why? 
So the thing is, like, if you are starting your career in trading and you would you and you would like to explore this, so the first thing that I would say, do not go with the margin trading. Always go with the spot trading because, as I mentioned earlier, the spot trading is where you are actually holding your coin. Even if the coin the price goes down for that coin, but still you are able to hold it. But if I talk about the margin trading, so in margin trading, what you are doing, you are actually using your funds and you are multiplying it, and you are like taking a risk of liquidating your funds, right? So margin trading and spot trading are two different, completely different terms. So I would suggest you to go with the spot trading only in the starting in the early days. Cool. Thank you. Uh, uh, Avijit would like to know that uh, is margin trading allowed in India, and what are the types of trading, and which is the safest for the beginners? Well, with the latest news, if I go with the latest news, then our finance minister has announced that we are going to ban cryptocurrency, <laughs> the whole cryptocurrency, which is a big threat for us. So I'm not sure what is actually going to happen, but yes, everything is allowed right now. But I'm not sure about the future that that what is going to take place in the near future. So you can trade right now. You can trade on Dex or you can trade on centralized exchanges. That is completely your call. But make sure that you pay out the tax, the thirty percent tax and the one percent TDS. So every trade is allowed. But yes, we have different tax for every trade. For example, like if you are doing spot trading, then the tax uh, slabs are different. And if you are doing the futures trading, then the tax slabs are different. This is the only thing that you need to take care right now. But as soon as more news comes in, but yeah, uh, this is not possible that uh, they can't ban crypto because they need the global support. And already there are few countries who has already accepted the cryptocurrency as their major uh, part, right? So I don't think so that this is going to take place. The, all they can do is they can increase the tax slab so that people will start avoiding the trading part in it. Thank you. Uh, so the next one is Ayushi. What would your advice be to beginners who want to start trading in cryptocurrency? All right. So I have already told you some of the points. Like you know, you should uh, before starting up uh, the trading part, learn first. Uh, because it's it's a you know it's a risky game. So uh, you know someday you will get a positive news, another day you will get a negative news from the government, from the officials. So better to just manage your risk properly, and uh, you know just at least you know you should know where to enter and where to exit. Maybe you know if you are taking up a small trade that will be fine but you know you come out from a uh, trade you know in a profit so that is most important thing that you know uh, a beginner can do also uh, follow strict risk management rules you know as i have already told you you should also understand how to pick up the coins that is also a very important thing so like i think somebody from the audience has already asked like how you can use this uh, streeder and you know how you can use uh, the you know pick up the cryptocurrencies fundamentally so that question is also i think uh, answered and again you know go for the small profits because you know that will give you a lot of lot of happiness and mental peace so that is most important and that is the required thing you know i think you should go for it so these are some of the things you know i think my advice to the beginners my advice to the new people what about you rohan what would you like to add on to this piece uh, as ayushi mentioned that you should not put all your money in the starting because see at the end of the day if someone is saying that the price is going up right so they are not responsible for your funds because you are the one who is clicking on the buy and sell button so at the end of the day you are responsible for your funds so if you're stuck so if you're starting your career in trading and you would like to explore this all i can say is that invest those amount which you are able to do right which you can afford to lose so let's say if you want to, that you should start it with 1000 rupees only then just go ahead with 1000 rupees but make sure that you are not going to get back this amount if you will think that you are going to make 1000 into 10000 rupees then that is not possible in trading absolutely that is possible but that is possible when you have enough knowledge in this market but if you will trade from this point of view then that means you are not able to control your emotions and this was the first question for this webinar where you need to control your emotions while trading because if the price is going up and you will just keep thinking that the price will still go up 
right then that means you are not able to read the charts you don't know how the charts goes and what is the highest point and what is the lowest point because all you are doing is you are just trading with the emotions so you need to see which point is the exit point and which point is the entry point the moment you can ad- identify these points you can become a successful trader so that is why i put more focus on the paper trading part because in that case you are not putting your own money but rather you are using the virtual currency to trade and that way you can learn more better because your funds are not there so you can experiment whatever you want to thank you thank you so much uh, now i'll be taking the last question for the panel uh, before that i would just like to reply to uh Shatrugan Chatterji good evening sir uh, it's okay that you joined in late we would be having this recording of the session put up in our crypto tv say, uh, youtube channel so maybe you can just go through that but it will take a week or 10 days to be uploaded uh, but however you can get all this information uh, from the youtube channel uh, so now going on to the last question for today's session uh this is of course we would want both of you all to give your valuable feedback on this what are the best crypto day trading strategies what are the best crypto day trading strategies i wish you would so like Rohan, first oh okay okay i'll start i'll start so uh so guys you know if you want to be a day trader okay first of all what you need to see you just need to know which stock uh, sorry which coin to trade okay so fundamentally strong uh, coin you need to pick up and uh, you know you just need to filter out okay i just need to focus on these two coins or three coins or four coins okay and once you are just picking up these coins then you start looking for the charts okay because you know if you're a day trader your more focus should be on the technical chart now on that chart what you can do you can just look at the price action price behavior maybe based on the support and resistance levels just put out some levels and just you know trade on these levels and if you do not know how to draw it how to use it better to learn it first and uh, once you are you know just uh, uh, picking up these levels and then trade accordingly follow strictly uh, you know strict uh, risk management rules and uh, also you know you just decide that okay if you are picking up a 15 minutes time frame or 5 minutes time frame so whatever the time frame that you are uh, picking up just be focused on that time frame do not switch over to different different time frame because ultimately that will uh, you know end up in losses only and that will give you stress only so if you are picking up 15 minutes time frame go for that uh, if you have taken wrong entry just come out uh, you know with a small loss and then maybe you can enter in some another coin or in uh, you know maybe some at some other time so this is how you can just uh, you know uh, look at the day trading part last point that i just wanted to add here if there is a event if there is a news anything you know specific to these things maybe you can trade on that if you are able to analyze if you are able to understand that news correctly you know uh, specifically so then you know you can just uh, look at these fundamental events as well oh very well said ayushi and i just would like to add further to this the first thing is like do not cater to 10 20 30 coins in day trading because the more coins you will think about it the like it won't be a better idea because you won't be able to read out the charts in that case so stick to just one or two coins that is all the thing i can i can suggest you because when i started day trading part i lost a lot of amount of money why because one moment i'm trading in xyz coin the other moment i'm trading in abc right and what happened what happened was like i was able to combine the two charts and i thought that the price will go up but actually i was reading a chart for abc and unfortunately i applied my strategies in xyz coin so stick to just one or two coins in the daily in the daily time frame after that the second thing that i would like to advise is like have some portfolio first have some holding of that coin first for example like if i'm uh, trading xyz coin right so first gather some coins for that thing for example like let's say that the price of the xyz coin is 100 rupees so what i'll do i just invest 100 rupees and i'll gather i'll uh, i'll like collect 100 xyz coin now the next thing what i will do is like i will just forget that part like how much how at what price i am holding this xyz coin why because the next time when i will start doing the day trading part so what i will do 
the moment i will see that now this coin is at let's say 2 rupees so what i will do i'll just immediately sell the coin the 100 coins which i was holding earlier i will immediately sell it and as soon as the price will come out let's say at 1.9 rupees or 1.8 rupees so i will immediately buy the same amount of coins which is 100 coins so what i did i made a profit of 20 paisa per coin right and after that as soon as the price goes up again let's say 1.9 but it doesn't touch the 2 rupees so immediately i will sell it so what i am doing with just the help of my holding i'm just multiply my holdings with the just a little movement in the price section so this way i'm able to hold the coin for the longer term as well plus i'm also increasing the quantity of my coins so this is a very good strategy if you will apply it. so first apply it in the paper trading part and you will get to experience this thing it took me one year to identify this strategy but uh, like this is helping me a lot in the long term vision because this way i am able to hold the coins for longer term and i am never in losses because always i am holding a particular set of coins in my portfolio thank you uh, i have uh, mr krishna dio asking for i wish to follow these two mentors please help so is there any social media uh, handles that you can share both of you all would request uh, you know i would request you all to please share your social media handles so they can start following you all uh, for more inputs on this field you can uh, ma'am you can sell, uh, send it to everyone on the meeting so it automatically goes to all the participants sure they can subscribe your channel your well thank you so much krishna to well. show the interest in like us we really appreciate that and, and it really means a lot to us sure. also I'm there sure. is a question yeah. from avijit uh avijit would like to know does moving average 9 help to understand the base value of crypto okay okay so uh, uh, basically 9 days moving average is used whenever you are trading for a shorter period of time okay so uh, the base value of crypto as far as i understand you know you are talking about the the current value or the intrinsic value you know if you talk about like you know where it may go so if i'm not wrong if you are asking this question so yes definitely moving average is a better way to trade but it will give you slightly uh, late indication you know if you are only using the moving average so 9 days is a very good indicator uh, for a short period of time so you can use 9 days 26 days and uh, you know for the shorter period of time and if you are looking for the daily chart or a longer period of time go for 50 100 and 200 days moving averages okay cool thank you i hope avijit you got uh, your reply for the question that you had uh, there is one question that has come from uh, shatrugan ji uh, is there any possibility of instant tax debit like gst and delivery charges for every trading in future instant tax debit like gst and delivery charges for every trading in future so I... for instant tax there is a tds in futures as well right so the moment you right. start your any trade so your t and the moment you will close it you need to pay the tds which will get debited from your uh, exchange account but that depends what type of exchange account you are using if you are using indian exchanges then that will take this immediately but if you are using foreign exchanges then they are not deducting any type of tds or uh, any other thing so you need to file it manually so which is a threat right now because we don't know how to do that so a lot of threats have been done on the twitter part where the ceo of azirex also tried to clear this part if If you are not paying TDS, then you need to pay it manually. And if you don't do it, then at the end of the financial year, you will be in trouble because you need to pay more than the thirty percent after that. So, if you are trading on Indian exchanges, then that would be great. Or if you are doing it from the international exchanges, then I would suggest to go with the uh, like without KYC part. Thank you so much. I think that was the only question that we had. Finally, I would like to thank both the speakers for taking out time and sharing their views on today's panel discussion. I welcome all the crypto enthusiasts to kindly download the Crypto Wire app and be a part of the global learning. Uh, we have shared both the uh, mentors' uh, 
IDs and uh, their YouTube channel, their handles, social media handles. You all can start following it and get more information from them. Thank you so much to all the attendees and the panel uh, panel today. Have a great evening. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sir. It was great interacting with you. Likewise. Thank you, Rukhsar. Yeah. Welcome.